Lovely words, John, as we get started. Well, let's see whether we can deliver three points for Elaine Murphy. As uh, Wednesday will attack in this first half, the Leppings Lane end. There's just a, a spattering, really, of uh, Cambridge fans who've made the journey. Obviously contrasting that with the Port Vale fans who were out in force, and it was, what, 3,000 that came the other day for the fixture here at Hillsborough. It's coming and done well. Penalty save. Yep. Massive save that was. Mm. To ensure we got something from that game. That was against uh, Oxford. Wednesday here with George Byers. Byers going long over the top. He's seen the run there. From That's Wilt. a great ball. In fact, it's gone centrally. And this could be an opportunity for Wednesday to take the yes! lead. Which is what they do. And it's Windass back in the team and back in the goals. He took his time set himself and strokes it into the corner and Wednesday's pressure pays off they take the lead here against Cambridge United and it's Windass with the goal the Owls lead by a goal to nil yeah I mean you don't know the situation you don't know what's going on and you know and uh, you know so far he's you know he's been in and out of the side he's not managed to uh, get a regular place there's there's one waiting out there on that right hand side if, if he wants it Wednesday working on there with Windass over towards Johnson looking to try and attack his man Johnson stands up across it flicked off the defender came for Patterson who turns it back for oh, Smith who unlucky. acrobatically tries to hook it towards the goal and getting across there was Will Mannion to make the save and taken down on the chest here by McGuinness out towards Reese James another lone player that I feel has done very well for Wednesday goes into Johnson and Johnson looks to take on the fullback. A low cross goes into the area. Smith looking to turn. It's not quite on. Comes back for oh, a long ranger. That was attempted by Vokes. It would have been the icing on the cake after the start that he's made. He tried to slam it. Got blocked off, though, by a defender. Got in the way. Good strike from Vokes. Wilkes plays it out now for Palmer. Palmer looks to go on the outside. The cross will go over. Can Wednesday get there? They can with Johnson, but he's played it back and it's almost come back for Palmer. It goes towards Wilkes. They're appealing for oh, ball. It just dear came me. off his, uh, his leg and deflected up into his arm, I think. For the main part, I mean, uh, he seems to be, uh, you know, got a free roll. I mean, we've seen, seen him out wide on the right. That's oh, a great a chance coach. again for Patterson to get in. Down he goes in the area and he'll get a penalty. Well, you kind of thought it must be because there was no reason for him to go down then. It looked like he was going to take the strike. Will he do, will he do the same or will he change I think he's going to change sides this time. Uh, yes, I think so. I think he'll go with the goalkeeper's left. Smith comes forward now and strikes yes! it. And he goes exactly where we expected it. The goalkeeper, he went to the right. The ball went left. And Wednesday go 2 0 up, and it's Michael Smith who converts from the spot on Wednesday into a comfortable lead now. And it's fair to say they deserve this lead as well. Cambridge have offered very little going forward, and Wednesday, two goals to the good. Some supporters vent their fury or their, uh, you know, their concerns, but uh, you know things are looking pretty good on the pitch at the moment. Obviously, we need to get. Uh, Barry Bannon back fit. We've got some important games coming up. Wickham, Barnsley, Plymouth and Ipswich all fairly together. This is why we've got to be winning these sorts of games. Palmer, chance to cross over early towards Smith, who oh, tries to angle the header. header. The goalkeeper, I think, pulls away in the end, realising it's just going to drift past his post. And that's what happened. And it will be a goal kick for Cambridge. Yeah. And Josh went into that sort of free roll, and it kind of suits him, I think. It's... It's maybe his position, rather than an out. He's not an out-and-out -out forward, I don't think. He, he's kind of got other attributes. He's got a lot of attributes. That's he's able to run one. and great join the attack, goes, here like he does again. here. And it's saved oh. by the goalkeeper. Again, those late runs, joining the attack, getting beyond the lines. But this time, Mannion makes the save to deny him. It's gone behind for a corner. Well, that is a superb ball into his path. That's not an easy finish. You know, he's come from behind him. He's got to wait for it a little bit. Switch it away. Neat and tidy again. Liam Palmer. And Windass. Folks just strokes it out towards Palmer, who's on the right hand side. It goes down the line. Wednesday move it on nice early. Play. And this is slick passing again from the Owls. And it's another chance to cross it over. Marvin Johnson. It's with Johnson coming in from the right hand side. And he puts Pet it into up. the side, netting in the end. Corner. But it is a corner. 
Took a touch on the way through. So Marvin Johnson, so much more positive. He's attacking. He's, I mean, he's, he's got caught out on that right hand side. I think from the last corner we had, you know, he stayed there. It's going to be a right footed delivery. In fact, they just worked it short in the end. Goes towards Wilkes, who hits it there from his favourite position. We know he likes to strike it right on the edge, the corner of the box, if you will. He got plenty of power behind it. He did. But Mannion was right behind the ball, though. But he still patted it into the ground before uh, gathering it up. And slotted inside now. Simmer. Goes back into his own half. Condina. Plays it on. That's nicely done. This could be an opportunity for Nibs. Nibs goes into the area. Wednesday trying to stop and get a strike away. It will come back to the edge of the area and it hits the top of the bar. That was a little warning shot. It's still not fully away. Struck by uh, Simmer. And it hit the uh, bar with Dawson struggling to get there. They still keep the ball. And they've just got their tails up all of a sudden here, Cambridge. And still goalless between uh, Lincoln and Ipswich, by the way, Wednesday as things stand up to second with 52 points, Plymouth leading the way with 56 as it goes over into the middle. Wednesday missing the header and it has to be headed away oh. under his own bar there. I can't see who that is. I think it was Michael Smith back there. It was Smith having to use his height to help Wednesday out from a defensive situation. Yeah, that was going in. It had uh, looped over Cameron. And they try and regain it, but... Will Vokes fails to do so, and they try and break here with Nibs. Nibs, That's, it's been switched out towards the right-hand side. It's Bennett giving chase. He gets there, and they'll try and play it back and uh, across, but again, standing firm and in the way was James. Oops. Smith it wasn't a great touch, and he's given it back to them again. Bennett moves it through, goes into the box, and they'll go for goal. And that was from a, a difficult angle. I think it was Nibs who struck it. And now Reese James. James to step over the halfway line, just puts it into the feet there of uh, Patterson and Wednesday look to come forward and oh, they've managed is he to get try there? and We've picked it up go inside ball. there with Johnson. What amazing run, it just seemed to get away, but Wednesday keep the ball. Byers and then Patterson out to the right-hand side. Wilkes in one of his favourite positions, tries to bend over across. It's low, it comes oh! Liam so Palmer from Liam Palmer. I mean, I'm almost looking to a flag because he didn't seem that bothered. It was a great finish from Palmer. He just uh, clatters it into the back of the net, kept it low, and it beat the goalkeeper. And Palmer gives Wednesday a 3 0 advantage here against Cambridge United. There's definitely no way back for the U's now. Wednesday try and get close. Stretching out there was Will Vokes. They're trying to hustle and harry them, but they've kept the ball well here. They've switched it to uh, Tracy over on the left-hand side. He's going to try and take on his man, and he screws it back to around about the penalty spot. And Wednesday, after they deny them, it was Liam Palmer. <coughs> Corner. In fact, to bring it wasn't. It Kane. wasn't Liam Palmer. He was uh, not the one who got the touch. It was actually Reese James. Delhi Bashiru, I think, the other one. Over it goes, Wednesday needs to head it away and they get the header first. Should have done better. Goes over the top this time. He should have done better there. Kadina was the one who won the header. Wednesday can make these changes now. New year, new Wednesday. Ball goes up and uh, there is uh, Cameron Dawson to take possession. And throws it away, out towards the right hand side. Wednesday looking to go forward. In towards Jack Hunt, the ball was slid to him by uh, Will Vokes, but Hunt was going nowhere. He was stopped in his tracks, and now they'll try and clear the lines. Goes up towards the number nine, and Einstein controls this and plays it away, back towards Tracy. Tracy not going to do anything there. Wednesday have got it back. It's now with uh, oh, Mike Wilkes. He plays it through towards Windass. The angle's tight! Oh! Because Windass manages to find the corner of the goal from a very acute angle. Lovely slide rule pass. And Windass had it all to do, but he did it all right. And Wednesday is certainly starting the new year with a bang here. 4 0 the lead against Cambridge. Uh -huh. That was a great finish from Windass. That was the only place that he could score from that angle, a really tight angle. It's thrown inside, though. 
Will Vokes made himself available and got the ball. Goes back for the cross from James in towards the centre, cleared away. Comes towards Will Vokes. Now here's Palmer. Palmer to send in the cross from a tight angle. It puts it in towards Patterson. And Whoa! there's the chance for the hat trick. It's over this time, and he's saying it took a touch off the goalkeeper there, Josh Windas. But it wasn't, it's just going to be a goal kick. The proper connected with it on the left foot. I think that was Marvin Johnson. Was it Marvin yeah, Johnson? it was Johnson that got that. The ball is back here now with Mark McGuinness. McGuinness to uh, stride forward. And then oh, Palmer. Great ball, out. Liam. The ball over towards the left hand up. side. Well, it's worked out okay. Johnson puts it into the centre. And Wednesday failed to turn it home. And Patterson kicks the post in frustration. He thought he was going to get on the score sheet there. Oh, uh, how is that then? Not it's a corner. I uh, was at a corner. Oh, it's deflect. He's not got a touch. I think as uh, Marvin Johnson's crossed it, it's the defenders a deflected it. Four goals to nil if you're just tuning in. All started a long time ago when Josh Windass opened the scoring for Sheffield Wednesday. He got a penalty when Callum Patterson went down. <coughs> Michael Smith turned that home, sending the keeper the wrong way. And in the second half, Liam Palmer and Windass on target again as Wednesday screw it back. A chance perhaps for Jack Hunt who just loses his footing inside the area. He got the ball on the return there from Windass but just couldn't keep his footing when he needed to. Wednesday regain it here though with Liam Palmer. Looking to terrorise their defence, back towards Jack Hunt, pings it towards Windass! Oh, that's a spectacular finish along the floor, and he gets his hat-trick. Josh Windass makes it 5-0, a five-star performance on Wednesday. In their first game in 2023, Josh Windass has a hat-trick on his return to the side. Great football from the Owls, and Cambridge are well and truly dead and buried now. We'll play it across. In towards Cameron Dawson. Dawson in towards Fame Woke. Down the line. Reese James takes over. And plays it through. That won't quite run through towards uh, Wilkes. Nicely intercepted though. Wednesday regain it with James. And now here's Deli Bashiru looking to use his strength. Lays it off. Now can Wilkes get in on the act? He tried to get a strike away. James tries to cross it. It's pinging around. Is there another goal here? Wednesday can't quite get on the end oh. of it. Both Windass and Wilkes tried to connect with it but just couldn't do it James was causing the problems down the left hand side and he's involved again here just trying to nudge it back inside but they've uh, tied it up well enough now yeah two minutes of the 90 remain it's with uh, Mark McGuinness on for Palmer <coughs> Lays that through in towards uh, Dennis Adeneron, who's just trying to wriggle away. Great footwork. Is he going to put the icing on the cake? And he just drags his shot just slightly wide of the target. But a great, amazing run there from Adeneron. He does do a great run. But uh, Reese James is absolutely howling for it on his left hand side. I don't blame him. I'm in the, uh, the pecking order. Well, oh, that's a poor pass <coughs> there from Fame, where he's just giving the ball away. Didn't put enough pace on it. And now they'll try and slip this through. Out comes Cameron Dawson. He comes. And he makes a challenge, but... Uh, he got the ball be, first, got, I think. Yeah, and I mean, then it's it, one of those where you think that the attacker's going to roll over him and try and get a penalty. Yeah, four minutes of added time. There's a few that could have had a go at goal there. Yes. still working across. Shipston, does he fancy it? He's be 40 yards from goal. It's worked on by Palmer. Palmer giving it for Jack Hunt. Wednesday... Oh, great play from Shipston. Well done, Shipston well done, well done. to go forward oh, and the referee has it. sounded the whistle and it's all over. A very emphatic start to 2023 for the Owls. 5-0 winners against Cambridge United.